Well, you know, anyone who has diabetes, type 2 diabetes, which I have, can cope with this very easily. I've done it since 2002, and I plan to do it for a lot more years. Hi, I'm Art Hillier, and I'm 93 years old, believe it or not. I can't believe it myself, frankly. When my doctor told me back in 2002 that I was diabetic, I could not believe it. I had no idea how we were going to fight that, but I knew I was going to give it a good fight. My doctor, who is highly knowledgeable when it comes to these things, said, just get sugar out of your diet. It's in so many things. I have three meals a day, and in each, the doctor has told me I'm gonna have no more than 45 carbs. I count them. 45 carbs, it must be, or lower than 45 carbs, but not too low. I was a radio and television broadcaster for, oh, over 65 years. Sadly, I lost my wife of 51 years, the lovely Elaine. I always would call her that on the air. It's almost 20 years now. And I've lived here in this house where we raised our five children. Each morning when I wake up, the very first thing I do is get out my meter to read it, see what my blood sugar level is. And if you're wondering how you check your blood sugar level, you have this meter and you prick a finger, get a little drop of blood, place it on the meter, click it. As I do that, I make sure, I hope it will be under 129. The rule is no higher than 129 in the morning, no higher than 160 in the evening. And if I find it's over those limits, I get either on my stationary bicycle and do a thousand turns on it, or walk around the block a few times and bring it down. Some years after I found out I was diabetic, I wrote this in my book, The Hellier Say. Up until I was told in 2002 I am diabetic and must eat only 45 carbohydrates a meal, my favorite food was Chinese. And since then, I've learned nothing other than fast food fries is worse for us than Chinese foods. And at my first session with my diabetes dietitian, I was told bread and potatoes would just kill me. So what now is my favorite food? Oatmeal. Each morning for breakfast, I have a bowl of oatmeal, and it was Harvard Medical School that found out that if we have cinnamon with our food, that will also bring down the numbers on the meter. So I pour some cinnamon in and mix it up with the oatmeal. And it, uh, it works out wonderfully. I have 36 carbs of it every day for my breakfast, and some days I have it for three meals. I love oatmeal. Oh, good. Truth of the matter is, if a person wants to go out and just eat potatoes, just, just have enough to, uh, under 45 grams. Thank heaven now we have breads, we have ice creams, believe it or not. Yummy, yum, yum. And the other products that have low carbs in them, and they're available in every grocery store. The majority of bread is anywhere from 20 to 35 grams per slice. And uh, Trader Joe came out with the bread with just four. And then there's another one also on the market. The, the bread slices are, are six. And you can work that into your diet now, so I, I do have bread. And sometimes I even have a slice of pizza, but that is my entire meal, that slice of pizza, but with a diet drink, say, or, or, or water, something like that. When I look at the label on any food product that I pick up, I will look at the total carbohydrates, and we 
take from that, we look below it, and we deduct from that number the number of fibers in there. For example, let me count carbs for you here. Total carbs, 20, minus dietary fiber and soluble fiber would bring that down four more. So this range, 16 total carbs per serving. Here's how you count carbs on oatmeal. Total carbs, 19, minus four would be 15 carbs. So enjoy your oatmeal in the morning. Look at this, even ice cream, you don't have to give up ice cream. This has 13 grams of carbs minus four dietary fiber, which would be nine, minus sugar alcohol gives you four carbs. So enjoy your ice cream. And how about bread, which you never were able to eat until a short while ago. Total carbs, seven grams, dietary fiber, three, which comes out to just four carbs. That's how you count carbs. And my grandkids tell me there are even apps you can use to count your carbs. I do wish restaurants would put on their menus how many carbs were in each meal. It would sure help us. If I do find myself going to, let's say, a fast food restaurant, this is what I do. I open this up and I take off one half of the carbohydrates by removing the top. And now that I'm in here at my favorite beef sandwich restaurant, I've cut the bun in half, and that way I've cut the carbs in half. And beef, zero carbs. There is medication for it too, and I have a couple pills that I take each day, but uh, nothing more than that medically. When I go to the grocery store, I pick up the product, whatever it might be, it has to be by law labeled, and I just look up how many carbs are in it. Some nice creamy old-fashioned peanut butter is just four carbs. I love green salads and veggies. Most of them are low in carbs. I love onions. And many have zero grams of carbs. I avoid cakes, pies, cookies, anything with rice in it, anything with potatoes in it. Even those I could have little bits, moderation. And then let's say I want an apple or a pear or a peach, something like that. I just look that up in a special book I have or I look it up online. But I want to tell you, let you in on a little secret. You can sneak it up to 48 carbs or have it down around 35, but uh, just keep it in that range, around 45 carbs, okay? And since I started these diets, perhaps it's the reason I'm 93 years of age now. I have lost 20 pounds, and that's wonderful. And how have I done that? By one thing, eating as much as I want of meat, fish, oh, I love codfish, by the way, and halibut, and uh, things that will keep it down, and at the same time, I'll, I'll have a nice, enjoyable meal. And I think I'm so much healthier for it, and I feel so much better. This is a wonderful way to live. It, this diet is the proper way, in my opinion, to live your life.